have to say that this is the second book that I've written on Fethullah Gülen. And the first one I wrote before I had met him, so it was entirely based on people I'd spoken to and what I read of his work. And then subsequently I got to meet him. And it was one of those moments where you meet someone whom you admi have admired from afar. You know, a movie star, a sports star. And then you meet that person and you're enormously disappointed in how they turn out to be. With Gulen, it was exactly the opposite. When I met him, I was struck even more strongly by what had struck me indirectly through what I'd heard and what I'd read. That he is a person of genuine and not fake humility. I've known many people of fake humility, of genuine and not fake piety. I've known people like that as well. Erdogan is a perfect example of someone whose piety is false. He is someone of humility. He is someone of piety. He is someone of genuine interest in everyone else around him and who speaks both from his brain, which is pretty considerable, and from his heart and speaks to all who would listen. And his speech is about, not speech, but about action. And that's what this book is about, trying to get a handle on that, not only through him, but through those who are drawn to him from near and far, from all over the world. Different ages, different traditions, different cultures, different realities, but who find him a charismatic focal point to guide and inspire them to be part of improving the world.